Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, in the last episode we managed to finally find the Blood Kelp Zone. And uh, it was fantastic, I was so pleased to finally do that. Um, it meant that we have been able to reinforce, do some more upgrades for our sea moth. Um, and I am just now collecting my crop of seed, creep vine seed clusters in order to make some more synthetic fibres, I think. Luckily we didn't have to swim out very far. Silicon rubber, fibre mesh, creep vine, oh I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my goodness me. But you were all shouting, shouting into the uh, monitor. Uh, what can we do with these now then? Yeah, I should have actually sampled the items rather than... Um, let's make some more silicon rubber on here. Oh, lubricants. That was very silly of me. How much have we got left? We've still got three. What else can we make? Let's make another silicon rubber and maybe one more lubricant and then we've used all of that up. I'm really not going to need all of this by the sounds of it. Oh, we've got one left. We've made four of each. Um, damn, I bet I've not got room to put this anywhere now. That's going to be the issue. We'll just dump it all in here. Okay, we need to take the knife then and go and get some samples of creep, whoops, creep vine rather than uh, the seeds. So we can do that quite simply. I'm not going to harvest them from my own crop. I think I will head over this way and gather some. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure how quickly he'll be after me. Right, lovely. Uh, so in here... Fibre mesh. That's what we want. Now, how much... How much stuff did we need? Let's see. I put the acid in there. Didn't put anything in there. That's all the bleach. Silicon rubber is in there with all the other silicon rubber that we've got. None of that, so it might be in here. No, it's going to be this last one, of course it is. Um, synthetic fibres. Do we not have any more? Is it benzene? Let's try. Yes, synthetic fibres. And then I think we use the synthetic fibres together to make a reinforced dive suit. So when we're diving in those tricky areas, when there are creatures around, that should mean that we get less damage. Now, the still suit's kind of cool because you get this water every now and then. But I think it's probably about time we try we try out that reinforced dive suit. Just going to dump the uh, creep vine sample in here because it's decomposing anyway. I should keep that going for a while. We've got plenty of power now. Uh, we'll just put away the still suit for a while, I think. Now, what have we got in there? That's just general stuff. Let's have a look at the room. We've got some more storage in this room in front. Yep, okay. So there might be some titanium on it. No, it's empty. This is all the, uh, the spare salts. So we have suits and things. We've got the radiation suits. Uh, we've got some fins, graph sphere, camera drone, some extra items. Let's put in 
need to take our other one off first. Can we swap them like that? No, we have to take that one off, put this one on. The rebreather. Oh, it's good to change these gloves though, I think. Because we've had the radiation gloves on for ages. Um, okay, try that. Right, still suit. Radiation gloves. Let's make this sort of more all, all the kind of equipment and stuff. And make this one more all of the, uh, the clothes, the clothing and things. Uh, what's that? Radiation helmet. Fins and swim charge fins. Okay. Right, let's have a look at our loadout then. So we've got our ultra glide fins. We've got our lightweight, high capacity tanks, two of. Reinforced gloves, reinforced dive suit, and we've got the rebreather, our scanner room chip, and a compass. That seems like a good selection. I think we need to go out and get some salt again now. And there is one blueprint that we're still looking for that we haven't found completely yet, and that is uh, one of the prawn suit proportion cannon arms. And we probably need to make a uh, grappling arm. Um, did we make the sonar or something else? I can't remember. Polyaniline and magnetite. I think we made that. Magnetite and a computer chip will give us a torpedo. A prawn suit thermal reactor. We haven't found kyanite yet, but I think it's in the inactive um, lava zone. We've definitely made this defence system. You really do have to kind of pick. Hmm. Yeah, you do have to sort of pick what to uh, equip your vessel with, perhaps for different purposes. Well, we've almost made everything in the game now. Have it, we could make a, um, a nuclear reactor. Hmm, it's good. It is good. Right, what have we got here in terms of uh, new info? It's a sea crown. Hmm, interesting. Voice log. <laughs> this ecological bio matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Too right. That music was creepy as hell. Okay, so let's. Oh, let's go out and get some salt. Let's do something kind of relaxing. Uh, we've sort of sorted out our loadout now. pretty happy where everything is. Uh, we need to eat and drink. I think we'll go and uh, pick some plants actually. Save, uh, keep using up all of our fish. So we'll go into the, uh, the grow room. Pretty pleased with the base. Um, kind of uh, works really well. I'm going to grab something else. What should we have? A Chinese potato maybe. Yeah, we just need a bit of water. Um, we don't have the still suit on us now, so it's a bit, a bit of a shame. I think we're going to go out and do some fishing and pick up some salt and stuff like that. So oh, we should set the scanner room scanning. Welcome the salt. aboard, Captain. Right. Whoops. Let's close this up. Now I was watching um, Dashida Hall. Uh, she did a uh, subnautical recording just recently. Oh, I probably didn't need to close that. Silly of me. She did a subnautical recording just recently, within the last week or so. And fortunately, she was building and um, made a bit of a miscalculation with the hull integrity. 
and her base completely flooded and I've never seen that happen before and I'm so glad I haven't, haven't had it happen to me. It looked quite intense. Um, so it's quite an interesting episode if you haven't caught it. Right. But I think we've nearly done all the building in the uh, in the uh, game so far. Maybe a few blueprints that we haven't found. But let's get that searching for salt and we'll go and grab things like some bladder fish or something I think. Go back for some basic goodies. And we've got our um, beacon now so we can very easily find that zone again. Probably not the best idea coming out here at night. Oh, salt deposits, lovely. Let's grab some air. Yeah, probably not the best idea coming out at night. We should put our rebreather out somewhere, I think. Any bladder fish? I haven't seen any. Not yet anyway. Apparently there's a huge cave system right underneath where I am. In the safe shallows. Safe shallows, yeah. Getting to know some of the zones a little bit more now. Finally. It's only taken me how many episodes? 35? That must be... Nope, that was within reach. Right, any bladder fish? No. Just grab some more air from this thing. There we go. Oh my god, we're gonna bite her. I modify it. I am quite close to the um, the creep vine though, so I'm not surprised I'm getting attacked. Right, salt. This is that bubbly sounding area. It's very dark. It is very dark. I think I'm getting nipped at. Yep, I'm getting nipped at. Let's get to the surface, get some air, maybe try a different area. Uh, we'll head back. Oh look, lots of um, sort of deposits behind me. <laughs> That's fine, quite funny. I thought there weren't, there weren't any around, but they were all in the other direction. Is that underneath the ground? No. That's fine. Is that some titanium? What is that? Just to plant life. Okay. That's that trash can I always see. Yeah, I can't tell you how delighted I am to have finally found that blood cow zone. And thank you to everybody who uh, helped me out in the comments with the, the general sort of directions to uh, head. I'd love an in-game in map and you can set a, um, a location that you wish to uh, travel towards. I think it would make things a lot easier. Especially early on when you you know you don't know much about the game. It could actually highlight certain areas for you to uh, to head towards. It would make things a lot easier. You know, objectives on the map, that sort of thing. Going along here. Oh, um, we want a bladder fish. Thank you. 
good. Right, where? Oh, wow, that's a bit misleading as to how far away it was, that one. Wow, this is so much further than I was thinking it was. Okay. This makes this makes collecting things much easier. That's my favourite thing to do. I've got a stalker. Another stalker. Another two stalkers. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> they do freak me out, I must say. They don't give you a, a tremendous nip really. And we've got so many health packs. salt deposit come on I would pick the one that's going to be buried in the undergrowth good got you oh my gosh where am I going we're in that lovely bubbly sounding area I think there's some dust here and I'm left too Let's head down here. Wish it was daytime so we could see properly. There's bladder fish on the left. Uh, oh, we don't want you. Salt deposit though, thank you. Uh, bladder fish. Bladder fish. Come here. Thank you. Now I'm bypassing all sorts of things. Oh, lovely. At least it's daytime now. Grab a bit of air. I love uh, I love it when you catch those um, peepers just flying off above the water. It's very funny. Oh my goodness me. Look what I, look what I went and did. Sorry about that. There's a bladder fish, thank you. How much have we got? We've still got some room, that's fine. Awesome. And some more salt. And we'll go back up quickly. Oh, but there is a bladder fish. Oh, there's a few. Come to me. Those little bottles of water are actually fairly handy when you don't have the um, still suit on, so... What is that? Copper. Yeah, we need copper actually. I should be getting copper. Maybe we'll take, in the next episode, maybe we'll take the um, suit out. The, um, I can't remember the name of it now. Prawn suit. Maybe we'll take that out. Go and do some drilling because we haven't done any of that sort of stuff just yet. That'd be kind of cool. Right, I'm stuck on the little bit of scenery here. This is a nice, nice area here. Oh, what have we got in there? Look. Fresh fish. He's not happy, is he? I've kind of moved him out of his home. That's funny. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get me. Oh my god, he's gonna blow up on me. Where was his um, house? Oh, no. No, that's a creature egg. I don't know where he went. He kind of disintegrated. I ruined his house. That's very interesting. We're going to run out of storage space the way we're going. Uh, we don't need to heal. I've got nothing to eat. I'll drink some water. We've got plenty of it. Oh, we do have something to eat. Oh, it won't let me. That's quite interesting, isn't it? There we go, it will now. 
did we take less damage because of the reinforced suit, I wonder? Could be that we did take less damage. Looks like all the salt deposits are in this direction. I don't think we need any more fish. We've got five slots left. Let's see about filling this up because uh, it's so vital for everything. It really is. Mm. It's very, um, it's all deep over here, isn't it? Should have took the uh, sea moth out, maybe. Let's get above some of these things and then as we're moving past them we sort of know what uh, what area these are in. So we should have a couple down in this creep vine area for sure. Yeah, they're kind of hidden. Yeah, I think my um well, that's a shame. I don't have any battery uh, power left. That's something we'll have to sort out when we get back, get that on charge. Right, let's put this away because if it's not gonna be giving us any power, we might as well dump it off. We've got three salt deposits within very easy reach here. We've got room for just one more and we'll head home. Look how much faster you swim. Yeah, really good. <laughs> nice, look at that. Let's grab a, uh, a screenshot of that. I think it's that one for getting rid of the interface. Yeah, that'll do. Have that as today's screenshot. And we should be able to, hopefully, get back in the base before... Um... 30 seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, I'm going to switch and have a look at our prawn suit. Look at that. What upgrades did we... That's our storage. Where's the upgrades? Upgrades are oh, this side. All right, what upgrades have we got in here? It's full. We just need something in that other hand. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to turn the salt uh, scanning off now. Save some power. And we'll head back in. Drop all of this off and then I think... Maybe make a few uh, bits of water out of these bladder fish. And probably call that one an episode. We have done so well in the last couple of uh, runs out. It's such a good game. It really is. I need to find the lava zones next time out. So, right, food and water. We will make some small bottles of water out of these blood fish. A lot of water fish by the look of it. Right, good. Right, let's put some of this stuff away then. So, um, we have some peepers to replace the ones we've been using. Uh, we've got a disinfected water. We've got all of this water. I'll take this salt out. Let's put some of that water away. We've got three of the smaller waters on us and we've got a hole. Whew, a whole lot of salt there. Um, where can we fit it all? That's the thing. Can it all go in here? Almost. Not quite.
point. Can we move all of that stuff out and maybe... Hmm. Let's put some of these sort of things that we're not going to use very often in this other storage down here. We've got all of this space in here so we may as well use it. Um, rubber and silica uh, lubricant in there so it's a bit of a mishmash but it will do. Okay good. Oh, probably close that one. Those doors are probably getting a little bit annoying but I do like them. I love the sound that they make when you close them. Okay so water we are going to need to drink some doesn't fill you up very much, does it, that stuff? Oh dear. Um, I mean, we're probably going to have to carry like four of those with not using the still suit anymore. Okay, now is there anything else we want to go out and do? Oh, battery, battery. Um, they're in here, aren't they? And the battery that I am wanting to exchange is this. Nice, and we'll put this one on charge. Okay. Yeah, I think that's uh, a probably a pretty good place to leave this episode. Um, the Seamoth is in a good state. Uh, we have it fully upgraded, I think, to everything that we're going to need for now. Um, the prawn suit, I think we're probably going to need to make the grappling arm. Which I don't think we can make in here. No, we're going to need... We're going to need that other station that's in the moon pool. Um, I might just have a very quick look that's involved in that grappling arm. Um, the reason I think we need to make that is... Um, if we're going to travel around, um, we're going to get stuck at certain depths, I think. And the only way we're going to be able to get back out is by using the grappling arm. Advanced wiring kit times two and some titanium. Advanced wiring kit times two. Let's fill this back up again. We're going to need some more acid mushrooms. Do we need acid mushrooms to make wiring kits? I can't remember. Let's take a couple down with us just in case. Advanced wiring kit and... what was it? Advanced wiring kit and titanium I think? I'm so sorry. I've forgotten again. Advanced wiring kit times two and some titanium. times two. Maybe we'll do this before we head out. And then next time round maybe we could take the prawn suit out. So, ad whoops, advanced wiring kit's going to be in here. We're going to need two lots of gold and a computer chip. Right, table coral sample, gold and copper wire. Oh, blimey. We're going to need to get some table coral. Table coral samples. Oh dear. Now that's the. Is that the red stuff? I think it is, isn't it? These things. Table coral? This respawns, I think. Oh, don't fall down that hole, for God's sake. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, come back. Well, that's how you get down there then. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, there's a, a nice easy way to explore down in that area. Don't fall down there again. Uh, we need... I am going to get one more, I think, just to be safe. 
Um, best way to get back in to do some crafting. I need to put another airlock somewhere. In fact, I should probably do that. Computer chip. I can't remember what we need. Gold and copper wire. Okay, so probably going to be struggling for copper. Oh, we've got two there. Let's put you away. That's, that's quite annoying hanging there. <sighs> we're gonna we're both gonna struggle for copper. How interesting. Maybe we should take the prawn suit out and do some drilling. Mm. That's all we've got. That is quite uh, quite bad, isn't it? Computer chip. Advanced wiring kits. We need two of these. Oh no. We need one more copper wire. Alright, that's all gold. I needed actually the mushrooms for. I really can't think. This is all gold. Damn. Gonna need some copper. Oh, right. Um, well, that's not good. I don't think we've got any in the other rooms. I'm pretty sure we don't. That's the only thing we're missing now, I think. One copper ore. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Right, um, this is where I am probably going to leave this episode because we're about 30 minutes in. Um, it's going to involve some uh, swimming around and trying to uh, hit up uh, some of these um, uh, chunks uh, out in the world and see if we can try and find some copper. The problem is it's going to be dark out there uh, which is going to be a little bit annoying to uh, to work in that environment. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's all for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.